This is Bamboo. Today's still 4th of July. Um, I was catching up on some video watching and I came across one and I want to point it out to all my subscribers and all my viewers um, because I think that um, a lot of you should check it out and um, leave some comments and um, your own feedback. Uh, Vicky Jean 2000 is one of my subscribers and um, she is pre-op and has just gone to a pre-op um, class. I, I'm not sure if it was her dietary class is what I'm going to assume based on um, what she said in her video. But she is quite um, freaking out, I guess, about um, the small uh, volume that we can consume post-op. And um, she, it's, she's having a hard time wrapping her brain around the, the small like two ounce meals and such so um vicky this is a response to you uh i am six is today's day six yes. day six this is day six post-op for me i'm still on the clear liquid phase um this is my last day of clear liquids in fact i get to start full liquids tomorrow um but I can honestly tell you, I had clear liquid diet 10 days pre-op, and it was a living hell. Like, it was very hard. I was hungry. I mean, you're just hungry all the time. Post-op, I have yet to feel hungry. I have yet to experience the physical hunger. Now, my brain tells me I want something in my mouth. I want something to chew. I want something. I want flavor. That's really what I'm experiencing. It's not hunger. And you'll tell a difference. You will be able to tell a difference between physical hunger and mental hunger. I mean, I look at what my husband and my mom has eaten all week and it's like, oh gosh, that stuff looks so good and it smells so good and it interests me to be able to eat food again. But I'm not, I can't say that I'm hungry and I definitely don't feel like I'm going without not being able to have it. Um, so in terms like post, like in the immediate post-op, this is the only period that I can really speak for right now. But, you know, you're talking about how it seems like two ounces seems so small. But it's really, it's really not because your stomach is really small and you can really feel like each time you take a drink of something, it's like you can feel it go down and you can feel it into your pouch. And if you, you know, I had um, a a package of sugar-free jello the other day and you know they're not that big what they're maybe four or six ounces something I don't know exactly what they are but um I only got like a third of the way through it and I could feel like I was full so that's only a couple of ounces of jello and seriously honestly girl it's not that big a deal like I know it's hard to kind of get your brain wrapped around the idea of like you're gonna survive on two ounces of food for you know six weeks or whatever but I mean really you're gonna survive on a little bit of food for the rest of your life and, and that's just gonna be the change and you kinda gotta let yourself get accustomed to that um, it sounds like your uh, post-op diet is gonna be quite a bit different than what mine is mine is um, I can starting um, well at this point I can just pretty well sip whatever the whole time I just have to try to get 64 ounces of fluid in a day um, starting next week when I go to like the full liquids and as I progress along I'm my goal for a meal is to get like um, two to four ounces in in a meal so and, and that's gonna like kind of increase as your I mean your pouch is gonna stretch somewhat so over time you're gonna be able to hold a little bit more than that but um, it's a totally different ball game when you're not hungry and because you just don't you just don't crave like having that full feeling that you're so used to having pre-op um, and I think a lot of that is all it's like a mental game like your mind wants you to think you've got to have like this big full plated meal in order to be satisfied and you just don't you just don't and I hope that some of my subscribers will go look at her video and then also leave comments because I know I have a lot of subscribers who are f way farther post-op than what I am and um, I, I'm anxious to hear how many of you agree with me or what other like various comments you can give from um, a further down the line post-op perspective so um, that's all I just you know I know it's overwhelming at first and um, my first couple days post-op 
um, when I was in a lot of pain and everything, I just kind of was feeling like, oh gosh, I think I've made the wrong decision on this. But now I'm six days out and I don't feel like that at all. I know this is the right decision. Uh, you've got to be comfortable with that decision pre-op. And I think if you are pre-op, then you're going to get back to that comfort zone once the pain and kind of every all of that settles back out. Um, yes, it's a huge lifestyle change, but as everybody knows, uh, we wouldn't be doing this if we weren't to the point where we had to have a huge lifestyle change. I mean, this is a, in my, I look at it as this is a life-saving uh, measure because if I didn't have this done, I'm not sure how long I would live uh, and what kind of health complications I would experience and all that. So um, it's just, you got to wrap your mind around the fact that you're doing this to better yourself, to better your health, the way you feel, your outlook on life, um, your activity level, and everything. So um, s stop looking at the little tiny cup as um, a symbol because it really shouldn't be. It should just be about, it's one step you've got to go through to the end result. And just know that as time goes on, it's going to get better and you're going to be able to have different and better foods and different foods and experience the same um, things that you got before surgery when you would go to dinner you can still go to dinner and you can still have nice meals and you can still enjoy social activities that involve food and things like that just in a different way so um, stick to it girl hang hang in there and um, just really really keep your keep in mind that there's a there's a really positive uh, result to what's going to happen after this. So um, I hope, I wish you the best and I hope that things kind of calm down for you over the next couple days and you start to get settled with um, the way this is going to go. And I hope that some other post offers will come and leave you comments and let you know that it's not as traumatic as it sounds pre-op because you're just, you don't have that hunger anymore. So um, best of luck to you, Vicki.